as promised, the most decorated head coach in the history of University of Texas Athletics with 11 NCAA titles. Please welcome swimming coach Eddie Reese. The men's Thanks. swim coach. Yeah, it's good to have you with us again. Um, now, I always love throwing out these kinds of numbers because I like hearing the reaction from the coach on this. Now, now, last March, Eddie tied Ohio State coach Mike Pepe for number one all-time in NCAA men's swimming and diving titles with 11, 11 national championships. Now, this is the best part of it. He's the only coach in the sports history to win NCAA team titles in four separate decades. I always like that. About that. Four separate decades. That just means you're old. I, well, I was going to leave that to you, but yeah, I mean, that's you know, true. There's some longevity involved there. I think I tied Mike Pepe, but he did it in a lot shorter period of time. <laughs> so that just means you had staying power, right? That's. It's like all master swimmers, they want to keep swimming and all their competition gets too old. <laughs> well, you've obviously, you've always been incredibly modest about all this, but the numbers kind of speak for does it. Does it carry some meaning for you now to know that? I mean, there's 11 national championships. What, what does that mean to you? Well, I never went into this business thinking I'd ever win an NCAA title. It's never been a goal. There's never been a goal to be an Olympic coach. I I got into it because I like to train people. I like to see what they can do or open up their mind to a faster world, so to speak. And that's, I just keep it simple. If you were a swimmer, I'd want to find a way to get you to go a lot faster. Do your swimmers say that you're very competitive? Well, that would be a good question. I'm, I might ask them that tomorrow. But I would think they would say yes. But I do keep a lot of that on the inside. Why is that? Why, why do you not want them to see that competitive oh, nature about you? I'm, I don't hide it from them. I just, it's the way I am and the sport allows me to be that way. Okay. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk about this upcoming uh, swimming and diving season going on and the great things not only that Eddie Reese has accomplished, but those that his swimmers have accomplished as well. This is Longhorn Weekly live from Pluckers, the West Campus location, and we'll continue right after this. UT men swimming coach Eddie Reese was just talking about. You are talking about what a great job the Longhorns did. You mentioned defensively and getting after Baker Mayfield. Uh, he had been so successful for Oklahoma, and he was the reason they were coming from behind, and he was a big-time scrambler. I, had, I didn't envision him handling that guy at all. Let me, uh, let me get back to your outstanding team. Now, the Longhorns are returning five of the six swimmers who accounted for its two NCAA relay titles last year. All-American junior Jack Conger, seniors Matt Ellis and John Murray joined Conger on the 200 free relay, and Will Lacone uh, joining Conger on the 400-meter relay as well. Uh, just a, a great season for them, and you've got great guys, uh, excellent experience coming back now. This is one of the strongest teams we've ever had, if not the best. Wow, I guess that's all strong I'm, words for, for this early to talk about. I that. guess all I'm saying is I'm the only one that can screw them up. <laughs> well, what 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 are the what are the things you think that that make them that made them so special last year, and what you're looking forward to seeing out of them this year? Well, the the number one thing we talk about is taking care of each other, whether it's in a meet, during practice, and during practice. It's real important if a peer says good things to the other people in practice when they deserve them. And we're real good at that. And that just carries over. And we've had unbelievable work ethic the last four or five years. And it makes me look a lot better than I am. Well, the other thing that's that's reflected on, on your leadership and how this team and this program does is you've got no fewer than four Longhorns 
featured on the 2015-2016 USA National Swim Team. Yet Jack Conger earning a berth on the team in four events. Will Lacone posted top six national titles in the 200-meter breast and the 200-meter IM. That earns his place on the team. And then you had Clark Smith and freshman Townley Haas making the team in the 400-meter freestyle. Well, we said, and a lot of folks say, the measure of a team sometimes not only just how good your seniors are in the leadership they show, but how your freshmen and sophomores perform. We're, we are deadly from our seniors through our freshmen. Our freshman class is one of the top three classes we've ever had. And our seniors are doing, they did a great job last year as juniors. They're doing a better job this year. They're working harder. They're sacrificing more outside of the pool. They're just, it's almost like they've come to school to get an education and see how good of swimmers they can be. And not much else that not much else matters. You know, uh, you also have the number one recruiting class uh, coming in. And uh, when you have that type of thing, and I hear coaches say the best teams are the ones that the players take ownership of the team. And I know you, you're a strong believer in that. So when you have a really good recruiting class coming in, is it all about the confidence you have in your upperclassmen or those who are returning to help those who are coming in understand what's expected of it and how they can get the most out of themselves? That's so important. You know, you talk about tradition, you talk about history, and the important thing is talk about how you got there, what you did to get there, what you sacrificed to get there, and is it worth it? That's the big question. So many kids nowadays, they won't, they won't do anything without a guarantee, and there's no guarantee in sports. Our football team could improve vastly and still get bad bounces and lose close games, and we all know that's no fun, definitely no fun for them. So with all of this, with the great recruiting class, the returning veterans, the highly decorated team, it's safe to say uh, that you expect nothing less than a national championship again? Well, now I'll go into coach speak. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually... Right now, Florida's ranked number one. We swim them tomorrow at 4 p.m. And we're going to swim over the Olympic distances tomorrow. And then on Saturday at 10 a.m., we're going to swim them in the NCAA distances. Wow. Indiana's coming in also. So a good measuring stick for you guys. It's great. Perfect time for us. Real good time for ev anybody in college. Everybody's been working hard for six or eight weeks. They need a measuring stick somewhere along the line. Admi admission is free to the Jamel Swim Center. Hope you'll come on out. Uh, again, uh, the diving events at 3 o'clock, and then the swimming events begin at 4 o'clock, and then starting at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. The Longhorns returning 22 swimmers and two, including 14 All-Americans who won the Longhorns' 11th NCAA championship. Great to see you again. Appreciate you dropping Thank by. Thank you, Craig. Eddie it's Reese. always fun. Joining us here. Thank you.